Hello guys, what's going on? Exogenesis here once again, and today I'm bringing you a first boot gameplay for a brand new game just released on Steam called In Momentum. This game is all about old school first person movement, except using it in a way that will make you race. However, there are a few bad points and plenty of good points. First off, the worst point of all is if you look in multiplayer, this game was supposed to be a racing game where you race between other people with power-ups and all that kind of shenaz. Except, if I update list, there is one game with nearly 400 ping and three players. That's not a great start, so you are more than likely, unless you can convince your friends to get hold of this game as well, going to be playing it on your own. However, it does work, except it's... It's not going to keep you engaged for hours. It'll get you addicted for like an hour at a time, I'm guessing. Um, anyway, so we're going to jump straight into the video by doing what I know you PC gamers love, and that is checking out the settings screen. And it's not bad news, it's just not great. I mean, you get your post-process anti-aliasing options. I've got it set on four. Use 3D interface, crosshair style, and your resolution if you want it full screen. You don't get a lot of extra options, however, this game is very simple looking and the performance works fine on my computer. I know I've got a decent computer, however, it's not even being touched. It's it's just cruising along at rapid speed. So yeah, that's not going to be much of an issue to most of you guys. Music volume, sound effects volume, which is okay, except I played a tutorial and the tutorial voice, I don't know which one of these headings it comes under, but was very quiet and I found it very hard to hear. So I kind of wish there was an announcer volume option or something like that. But you never know. Maybe they'll work that into a later patch or something. But as it stands, there are your options. You get your controls, easy to rebind, enough stead, and your mouse if you want soothing or inverted or blah, 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 whatever you want. So what we're going to do is jump into a single player. This game isn't your standard kind of first person controls and there's a few little niche bits and bats that you probably don't understand when you first see it. So I do recommend when you first play it, play the tutorial. I played through the tutorial and this is the second attempt at doing this video so I, I know what I'm doing now. So we'll jump straight into the single player. Here you get to choose which map you have. You have quite a few maps not a huge selection though but it is on the unreal engine so i'm kind of hoping that they do release mod tools or allow it to be modded and that way you'll be able to extend the life of your game i mean as soon as you let mod tools there'll be a million and one different maps and to be honest some of them might look a little bit better than these maps however i suppose it's stylized so i can't be too harsh on that and you get to choose if you want to play sphere hunt or time trial time trial basically times how fast you get the spheres in sphere hunts i don't know what it does but i think I don't know what he does, but I'm guessing it's collecting spheres constantly. And you get to choose your difficulty. I don't know what this does, but I'm assuming it changes the position of the spheres and adds blockades because the maps are pretty much the same. I'll play it on Gamer because I'm not a freak yet. Maybe when I've played it for a few more times. And what I'll do now is I'll jump into the game, go through the controls, tell you what I think about the game, play it for a little bit so you guys get to see it in action, and then I will give you my overall thoughts on if I think you should go out and buy this game or not, based on my first impressions. Okay, so the time's about to start now because it's on time trial mode, and it's standard first person shooter controls at this point, it's W, A, S, and D, it moves me. This is where it gets different. My shoot button, because I have to shoot some of these targets, which are these things here, which will destroy these defenses here, is spacebar. That might seem a bit odd, but my jump buttons are on the mouse. So if I right click, I jump. Normal jump. If I left click, I wall jump, so I have to be near a wall. There you go. I can double wall jump, or I can wall jump and then jump again. So yeah, these are the main controls, and it's a simple case of getting these and getting to all of these as fast as possible. So what we'll do is we'll move through the map and you might be able to just see some of the crazy visuals and how it's not as easy as it may first seem. You fall, you start from the beginning or the latest checkpoint. I'll show you a checkpoint when we get to it, guys. 
But yeah, it, it, it can be quite frustrating, but I'm assuming that once you get used to it, it will make a lot of sense and you'll be whizzing through these maps really fast. However, uh, no, no, no. Jump back up here. Come on, come on, come on. I can do it. No. However, I don't know how long it's going to keep you guys interested. I mean, the the concept's okay. Um, I think the actual way that they've designed the game works. It's just... If no one plays it and no times are set, then it's going to get boring really fast. And it's not only that. You know what leaderboards are like. All of a sudden, there'll be 10 people on the leaderboards which... I've mastered the game and it'd take you far too long to even be able to compete with those guys. So that's not going to keep you interested. Competitive multiplayer doesn't seem to be filling up. So if that doesn't fill up, you're basically left to competing against your own times. Which I know a lot of people can get addicted to. I mean, I used to play Tetris on the bus. And Snake. God, Snake was one of those games which I plugged hours and hours and hours into. And that didn't get me anywhere, but... It can be enjoyable. When it gets to the actual mechanics of the game and the control of the game, even though it works and you can see I, I can actually make my way around the map and it seems quite interesting, I have to be honest, there's something which just doesn't feel quite right. It kind of feels like I'm a little bit floaty, like I don't have the full control that I require or want. Best way to describe it is this is not like painkiller if you play painkiller you'll know what i mean you, you don't feel that heavy so it, it you can quite easily miss your jumps you don't have quite as much air control as you do in painkiller either so it, it it's possible but it's not as easy to curve around certain structures or objects and that could be a bit of a bummer to be honest the soundtrack sounds quite cool um i, I do like the music However, again, it's going to be one of those things which is a test of time. I'm wondering how long I could listen to it before I chew my ears off if that was physically possible. However, that is in momentum, guys. I do enjoy the game. It is not perfect. I kind of wish there were more people playing it. But if you like first-person shooters such as Quake, Unreal Tournament and Painkiller and you miss the jumping mechanics or you still play those games now on the jump maps, I know there's plenty out there for Quake, then this game is for you. There's other games in the genre such as Exotic, except that's a score blast, except it's running on the same idea. So the games are getting more and more popular. The only other game I could really compare this game to is Mirror's Edge. So if you liked being able to compete against your own times on Mirror's Edge, then give this game a go. I think it's only seven quid, so you're not gonna be breaking the bank and getting it. Anyway guys, I've been Exogenesis. You guys have been great once again. Please do remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out loads. And please do make sure you check back for all the latest videos on First Boot. Yeah, peace out, guys.